What is up, guys? It's all here bringing on our Pokemon Nerd Wi Fi battle. And this is a battle I had against Tony 1995. He asked for an OU ma match on the Smoga Wi Fi Battle Finder. So I said, you know, why not? And um, I'd like to welcome uh, the new people that subscribe to me from the Global Trainer Syndicate. I really like to thank you guys for, you know, coming there to check out my video and then checking out my channel, you know, liking it and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you guys, you know, like my content and are going to stick around for more. So, let's start off with the battle. I'm going to lead off with Jolteon as he leads off with Fortress. Now, I go for the Vol- Like, I had a feeling he switched into Mammoth Swine, but I did not want to make that risky play first turn because if you overpredict first turn, it kind of costs you the rest of the match. But I really should have at this point, but if I did go for Shadow Ball and he stayed in, he would have set up two, la two layers of entry hazards, and that's just not good. So... I'm gonna go into my Gyarados knowing I can take a hit from this Mammoth Swine because my Gyarados is physically defensive. And he goes for Stealth Rocks, which I'm like, okay, so this thing is not Scarf. I had a feeling it wouldn't be Scarf for some reason, but whatever. So now I'm gonna go for Dragon Tail, predicting him to switch. I know he does not want to take a Waterfall from a Gyarados with this Mammoth Swine, so I'm just gonna go for Dragon Tail. I do, you know, nothing to Fortress, but I bring in his Ments. Now I go for Thunder Wave to slow it down because what if it's a Scarf or it's a mixed Ments? I want it, I mean, uh, Scarf or D Dance Ments. I want it slow as hell, but then next thing you know, I see, yeah, first of all, I saw the Intimidate, and then I outspeed, and he goes for Dragon Tail, so I'm like, okay, this is the bulky set with Wish and Protect. So he Dragon Tails me into Infernape, and I'm like, should I really reveal that I'm Mixed Infernape or, uh, the light, or uh, Special Infernape right now? And then I realized, yeah, I really should, so I just go for Head and Power Ice. I surprisingly take him out. Now, since it's a bulky men's set, I did not think I would take him out, but I do, which is awesome. Because now, I'm going to go into Jolteon because I do not want to take a Scald. I mean, I was very happy I took out a Salmon's right there. So, I go into Jolteon and that Scald does a lot. I, I did not expect it to do that much to be honest, but it does a lot. So, now since he goes for Protect and sees my Volt Switch, I know he's going to go bring in his Mammoth Swine. And so, uh, and here I get the Intimidate off of Vaporeon, which I did not think happened because I looked away from the screen like during that moment. So I thought that this Mammoth Swine was intimidated. So I stay in. I don't know why. Th th I mean, obviously I, I told you guys why, but I really should not have. I th like I st I just just ruined. I mean, half of my chances of winning because Landorus is a huge powerhouse on my team, and then with U-turn it keeps the whole um, scouting thing going. And now that that's dead, I'm, and it's also my Scarfer, I'm just, I, I just, I got rid of one of the most important members of my team in this battle, like, right, like, like that. I, I don't know why I did it. I really just should have switched out and be safe, um, you know, into Gyarados, because Gyarados can take those hits all day. It would just be a whole medley. I, I don't know. It was stupid. And then I go into my Infernape, and I don't close combat. I, the, Vipor, the switch to Vaporeon is obvious, but I Fire Blast because he has other things that are weak to Fire Blast. I, I don't know why I did it. But I just made two misplays right there. I should have went for close combat, but I didn't. So now I'm going to go into my Breloom. He toxics my Breloom. And th at this point, since this is a Technician Breloom, I was like, well, this thing is kind of useless to me. Mach Punch is going to, you know, Mach Punch and Bullet Seed are going to give me Life Orb damage. Tox is going to keep racking up. And I went for the Spore trying to get something else, but that's not the Celebi. I was actually trying to get the Fortress, but he goes into Celebi, which is a good play on his part. But now... I go for Swords Dance, and I, since I used Swords Dance, I really did not want that Swords Dance to go to waste. I really should should have switched here out on this Fortress, but I didn't. But it's, you know, it, it's honestly just whatever. I should have switched on this Fortress, but I, I mean, I regret not doing so. So, I mean, he's going to go for Spikes. Uh, he's going to get his one first layer up, and I'm like, and since Mach Punch, I mean, I was really, really annoyed that Mach Punch only does 45%. I was hoping he'd do half, and I could just take out the Fortress. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I go for second Mach Punch. It does about the same amount of damage as last time. He goes for Spikes, and I will die from Toxic. So, it was a wasted Breloom. I guess I should have switched out when I was, when he switched into his Fortress, even though it would have been a wasted Sword Dance. I really should have switched out because I could have kept that Vaporeon at bay. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. And now I go into Fortress and I realize that since he has a layer of Stealth Rocks and two layers of Spikes, I have to Rapid Spin. There's like If I don't, my team is done. So that's exactly what I do. I go for Rapid Spin. I get rid of all of his entry hazards, which is awesome. Because now when his Fortress comes in, it's going to die to... I actually know that that's going to be uh, later. Sorry about that. Um... 
I go for rapid spin, and he was really sad because, well, he sent up he set up a bunch of hazards, and now they're all gone. But now I see him go for nasty pot, and I'm like, okay, well, awesome. I just went for the stealth rocks to get mine up. Like those are important, those are crucial. I have to get them up. And now here, I'm. I was thinking the gyro ball. I was like, at that point, I was thinking that gyro ball was a better play. I go for spikes here, but I thought that gyro ball was a better play. It turns out the spikes was the better play, so I'm very happy I went for that. Because I don't know why I thought gyro ball doing damage and then maybe in front of killing it would be better. But uh, I don't know. It was stupid. Basically, spikes was the better play. So now he's gonna knock me out with two earth powers, which is fine. I really don't mind. I wanted to get a second layer of spikes up because that would just really hurt him. But that's fine. Because now I'm going to go into my Infernape. And again, I don't go for the close combat. The switch is so obvious. It is like the most obvious switch ever. If I went for close combat, I would probably take him down to a point where I could two-shot him with close combat. Well, I mean, one, well, like after that one, it'd be just one more hit. It would KO him. And basically, it would just put him in a position where he'd either have to switch out or sack his Vaporeon. So, I don't know why I didn't do so. So... I mean, it would just put pressure on him, and unfortunately, that's not the case, because now, well, I uh, I have to switch into my Jolteon, and I go for Volt Thunderbolt here, and as he protects, you know, trying to scout the thing, and, like, that protect is so annoying, and he went for Wish here, I should have really went for close combat, I don't know, I don't know why I didn't, but, you know, it's whatever at this point, I'm gonna go into Gyarados, you know, because Skull's not gonna do much, and it honestly doesn't affect my Gyarados all that much, I just wanna get that... Vaporeon out of there. I really hate that thing. And here, I also make a huge misplay, which I don't know why I did this. I don't know what idea I had, but I'm gonna taunt the Celebi thinking, you know, it will nasty plot, but Dragon Tail will just get rid of the nasty plot anyway. So I don't know what the hell I was thinking. And I, I basically got free damage off of my Gyarados. Maybe I predicted Forges to come in. No, I mean, Vaporeon to come in so I could taunt it. But no, no, that's, that's stupid. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I should have. If anything, I should have taunted Vaporeon. Whatever. Anyways. It's just a huge misplay because now my Gyarados is at way less HP than it should have been. And I Dragon Tail him out into Fortress. And after getting all those hazards up, that Fortress dies. And I win the. I guess hazard war although I mean it wasn't crucial but it did help so he's gonna go into his Celebi now and I like I said if I would have went for Dragon Tail the first turn my Gyarados would have been at more HP and it just would have worked out better but he's gonna go for Psychic I was hoping I'd live I do live which is awesome because now I can continue shuffling and I and I was hoping that maybe with that damage Celebi will get knocked out next turn with the uh, entry hazard damage but it looked like it would live with like a really small sliver HP, with uh, which you know any member of my team would be able to kill it after that. But in other case, he goes for Ice Shard. I knew I had to let my Gyarados die. There was no point in switching out. Although I realized that maybe there was, but I just did not want to take an Ice Shard with anything because Infernape is really frail, so an Ice Shard would do a lot of damage to it. So I, I had to sack it. But basically here again, I should have went for close combat. I don't know why I didn't. I mean. At this point, it really does not matter if I go for the close combat or not. But um, yeah, I would. I just would have had taken less, less, less life orb damage. Although it honestly doesn't matter. I don't even know why I got mad over that. But he goes into Blissey. He, he sees Grass Knight. He stays in thinking I don't have a close combat, but I do. I just take him out with close combat, and uh, that's it. But now I believe he has Mammoth Swine, Vaporeon, and uh, Celebi left. So I really just cannot do anything to this Vaporeon. Unless I crit. I mean, unless this like, Infernape had Taunt, that would have been amazing. But unless I like crit. Well, even Taunt wouldn't help. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I had no hope. Unless I like, crit close combat, maybe some hope, but I doubt it. So he goes to the Scald. He does take me out. Which really sucks. Because uh, now, um, I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying. Basically, I went for Grass Knot. I didn't know Vaporeon was really light. I thought it was actually a little heavier than that. But no, it's really light, so Grass Knot does not do much. Um, you know, he takes me out, which really sucks. But I, that's it. I lost, pretty much. I have no hope unless I, like, crit Shadow Ball all the time. So I went for Shadow Ball to see how much it does, and it doesn't do anything. This made, like, this Shadow Ball made me think that maybe this Vaporeon was invested in special defense, which made me want to... 
close combat even more. I don't know why I didn't go for close combat this entire match, but I didn't. And that cost me the battle, pretty much. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Um, I think it was a 3-0 in his favor. I think if his came in, it would have been a 2-0. It doesn't matter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. It was a pretty good one. You know, again, thank you for coming to watch. That subscribe to me from GTS. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And, um, yeah, uh, again, thank you. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later.